in the pre-antibiotic era, if you get a cut in the battlefield, you're dead. I'm Dr. Lo Jiaxian. Uh, I practice in an infectious disease specialist group. We have uh, uh, some clinics in private hospitals. I run three of the clinics in Farrah Park Hospital, uh, Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital and Glen Eagles Hospital. Oh, antimicrobial stewardship, uh, as the word explains, it is the advice and the control of uh, antibiotic use in a in an institution or in a whatever setting, outpatient setting, or in a, it could even be a national setting via certain set policy. This is done so that we can encourage rational use, minimal use, and um, and safe use for the end purpose of improving patient care and minimizing future antimicrobial resistance. Antimicrobial resistance is important because organisms become more and more resistant. When you reach the superbug stage, the mortality quickly rises. And mortality that is at that level, um, when we have serious uh, superbug infection, people are quoting 30-40% mortality. That reminds humanity of the pre-antibiotic era. In the pre-antibiotic era, if you get a cut in a battlefield, you're dead because there's no antibiotics. So let alone cuts in the surgical suite. So uh, uncontrolled bacterial resistance threatens actually the entire fabric of modern healthcare. If you have a superbugs in, in hospital circulating at a very high level, your transplant becomes more dangerous, your surgery becomes more dangerous. There's no point doing the perfect hip replacement surgery on a perfectly healthy person and then the person succumbing to superbugs. Stories like that have already risen uh, all over the world. That's why controlling antimicrobial resistance is very important. At the individual level, it's, it's quite difficult. But uh, some of our uh, healthcare seeking behavior can perhaps be better informed. For example, there's a trial in an overseas country where um, for respiratory tract infection, um, the doctor would prescribe an antibiotic and ask for deferred filling of the script. The advice given by the doctor would be, I'm giving you an antibiotic, but if you have no symptoms after three days, you can throw this away. Hopefully, the public will not uh, exert undue pressure on prescribers, uh, either GP setting, a &E settings, to prescribe antibiotics. If uh, the healthcare professional feels that antibiotic is not warranted, then it's best not to pressure the prescriber to prescribe more because it is, it is a fallacy that an antibiotic will make the respiratory tract infection improve because most of these are viral. So I suppose you know, the, that's what we can do. La. <laughs> Actually, there's also another thing uh, that's not related to antibiotics. What the public can do to improve um, uh, to help us with any microbial stewardship. Uh. One of them uh, is actually getting vaccinated. So if you are vaccinated for influenza or uh, pneumococcal vaccine, uh, then your chance of getting it is less. Then the chance of people asking for antibiotics is less and the use will be less. And this is at a population level. This is something that everybody can do, getting vaccinated. Uh. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for your regular dose of Asian health information.